Hi there. My name is Tina Allen Brook. I am an AS Media Studies student at Hammond College. I have been told that for our evaluation part of our course requires a few explanation, explanation to the opening scene we've made. So I'm going to go a run through on my opening plus a development progress which I did to make my film. Right. On to our first question. In what way does your media product use, develops, or challenges forms and conventions of real media products? Okay, so my film genre is meant to be action-adventure. True enough, it does have an action element in it. But for the adventure of it, it's not really something I'm sure how to portray within two and a half minutes, or maybe two minutes. So I added hints of a quest of an adventure. That piece of paper you've seen, where it has her about her friend, give the curiosity to the audience of whom they are. If I were to continue finishing this film, this piece of paper would have been an important um, prop for Safford's little adventure in this landscape. So this, so we were given six, no, nine frames that we should take from the film itself and portrayed how it would to represent certain aspects. So, first one would be film title. Well, it's pretty obvious what it is. It's about the story of a hero, plus I added a subtitle for the name of the character, Safard. Um, this frame I've picked was given it, given it the heroic element as I've used in my mood board during pre-production. Not quite similar, but you can see the similarity, sort of. Uh, the title was probably a most messy one of making up the name, as the class did have difficulty deciding which to pick. But in the end, I went off with the ones I've already decided and just mixed a bunch of two together. So, location is pretty obvious. It's a made up fantasy, or well, sci fi land. But with that said, it does technically match the style of the genre, considering the adventure aspect it does in that, in that kind of way. It doesn't look too extreme in the fantasy side, there's no magic or land area. It was just simply a few mountains in a sea of clouds covering the land below, the actual land below. And the only things you see are the mountains at the top. Think of it like you're in a mountain, like a hu very huge amount of mountainous regions scattered across the land. Then there is always constant clouds. These people live above that cloud layer, basically. Right, so props which I've used in this film, considering the things I have, mostly was a sword, satchel, and a mask, also in the paper drawing that you've seen of her friends. Now you might be wondering how this mask might fit the story. Well, think of like action heroes that you see in films, like, let's say Spider-Man. He wears a mask, so does Batman in the DC comics. So the fact that I've added the cat, the mask would be to symbolise the fact she's a hero. Similar to the sword, she's a warrior as well. This would reflect back to the action side of the story. Her being the main character, she's this hero who protects her people. She has a sword, which shows she has a potential of being a warrior person. And the mask is just to represent her power as a hero. So the um, satchel fits more of the carrying bag. So think of it as the adventurer who goes around to the places. They store stuff in their bags. So I would rather think that the satchel does kind of reflect the adventure, the adventurous style of the genre. The paper drawing, yeah, that I did mention before in the first bit, kind of reflects back onto the, the quest of adventure. But mostly this kind of problem is mostly to be more of the, what most people in media would call uh, Thematic motif, I think that's how you pronounce it. So, editing and camera work in my film uses a lot of close up and mid shots. This, well, close ups was mostly due to the fact that I couldn't really, this is, I had to really try to hide some things, but I just had to expand the background to make it bigger. But mostly it's the fact that I was trying to portray her fact, you know, the fact that trying to portray more of the emotional aspects and the personal characteristic of the protagonist. Hence the use of a lot of close-ups and mid-shots. I was trying to focus mostly on one person, and as there's only one person in a scene so far, it seems appropriate. 
the editing aspect of the film mostly consists of cutting from different camera angles around the person just trying to show different aspects close up at first you see her character's face then the next cut that you see would be to her of what she's doing she's looking up into the horizon then the next cut she opens her bag I was just The cutting sequences, the pace remains constant until closer to the end. Cutting of the scenes gets more quicker and quicker. You'd see these kinds of faster pace of cutting sequences used in action films, building up the pace of things, giving that kind of the effect of what people would say more action packed. The fact that I'm using lots of cuts, paces seems to increase quite a lot. Oh, so the, another aspect you would say of the action, of more of the action and adventure side of these things, I've used the long shot and establishing shot to get the audience aware of what's the landscape that I have around them. So my title and the font style was supposed to be... Someone said when I was making it that it reminded them similar to fantasy world, to a fantasy world, but title potentially was to be more closer to an old civilization as well as that having this hint of mysterious element towards it as well like a mystery similar well we mostly see these kinds of mysteries in action uh, sorry not action adventurous style genres the font style I wanted to portray was something to resemble more of the foreign or alien kind of transcript so this so the use of the font title I used was more to be like that kind of what I wanted, similar to old civilization, people that have not yet known about it. Quite difficult for me to explain, but that's the best I could quite say it. Now the subtitle, on the other hand, mostly reflects on her type of personality rather than reflecting on the older civilization as the main title would. So the opening of the scene was meant to introduce the audience to the main character of the film. The voice actor, playing a Safard, is talking towards the audience and guiding them through the world of the unknown, talking about her land. Then later on, the voice actor immediately introduces herself to the audience by talking about who she is and what she used to be, and then talking about what she has become, once again guiding the audience through her tales. After the proper introduction, it moves on to about what her current feelings are and how she became who she was. Quickly summarizing the film, the film, the opening of what her past was for the audience. So later on in the film, they could immediately understand what's going on. So how do I represent genre in the opening? Well, immediately the audience would see a sea of cloud with jagged mountains scattered across the landscape, immediately hinting sci-fi or fantasy genre from the area location itself, and some bits of adventurous styles aspect as well. During the entire dialogue, you mostly um, expect some of the aspect to relate to the adventurous side of the character, but later on, closer towards the end, when her expression changes, the audience finally realises that it also has action in it. The part where she seen that shadowy figure fly by and now she's in pursuit. My uh, character introduction was, well, since I only have one character, Safford was introduced through a narrative, narrative voiceover. Then her appearance was later shown, much later, as an establishing shot, first far away, getting closer. Then it became more clear that she, that's where she was located. Then fades to a close-up. And all the way through, the voice actor was speaking towards the audience. And during the dialogue, when it's zooming in towards the mountain as well. She talks about herself and what she is, and then when it fades to a close-up, it shows what her feeling is, talking about her situation. And the moment when she expresses herself, understanding why she became whom she was, it shows the audience later that she's this kind of person who's misguided, not sure what to do. She's supposed to help her people, but yet she has no idea what to do. I'm just repeating myself. Um, let me just go through this again. So, introducing my main characters. Sapphire was introduced for a narrative o over voice. Sorry, voiceover. Her appearance was later introduced when the mountain was fading 
At first at a distance, then later fading onto the close-up. And all the way through, the voice actor of Saffrod was speaking towards the audience. During the dialogue when zooming into the mountain, she talks about who she was and what she is now. Then when it fades to the close-up of her, it then talks about her feelings and the situation that she now faces. At the moment when she expresses her understanding why she became whom she is, it shows the audience her more heroic side, her determination to change, to prove herself and proving her people that she can be able to be the hero as expected through their tales. The villain is also introduced in a very short moment, but this is uh, slow. No, no, let me try that again. The villain is still also introduced in, in a very short moment, but it's still enough to show whom Sathbot is trying to defeat. Next one, last bit. Special effects. Uh, this is not quite an easy thing to talk about as the entire film that I've made is completely 3D animated. So the best way to say that is the entire video has used special effects. Most of the sound effects that used, were f like the wind and the music, were from um, freesound.org. I was difficulty trying to find the right music instrument, so in the process of trying to make my own, I've kind of given up and moved on to a different aspect. But with that said, the rest were done using 3D animation called, uh, called Blender. Uh, the entire rendering process, uh, the entire animation plus the rendering process took about two weeks in the, all the chunks that I've made. The original scene intro with the clouds was supposed to have a more realistic fluffy clouds, but due to the amount of time limitation, it takes about, honestly, it takes about an entire day to record about two seconds of that rendered footage. So in that three days, I've had recorded about possibly 10 seconds maximum. It was pretty slow. So the original footage was scrapped in the replacement of the more simplistic fat cloud plane one. Anyway, so that's basically the end of the first question and the next evaluation video I would explain how I've represented a particular social group in my media product.